Shalom, Yashala, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Holoyim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakal Kodash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa, that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 1. It says, The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. Right? When scripture speaks about your heart, it's speaking about your mind. Right? So the thoughts that enter into your mind and the words that you speak that come from the Lord. Right? Whether righteous or unrighteous, good or bad, the most high is, is the most high of all. Good and evil. Um, according to the book of Isaiah chapter 45 and, and verse 7. All right. So um hopefully this will be my last little um last little um you know um video or epistle about this man. But who knows what he gonna say in the future and who knows what mo or who knows what the most I will have him say in the future or who knows what his future even brings. All right, cause um the people he under these contracts that this man signed, they take lives. Right, they're, they're a key if you go against the grain. That's what that's a um, strong reason why I believe um, this might have been staged for real, for real. Um, anytime you see something like this, especially dealing with a celebrity, it's always something else that's going on. But you just got to dig and find what else is going on. Right? So, and I, 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 I've been paying attention to a few things, and I'll bring that out um, in the latter video or in the latter epistles. Um, but nevertheless, man, on um, the preparations in the heart of man, the thoughts that enter into your brain, and the words that you speak is from your heart. And when that man, this man on on your screen, when he went to drink champs and and uh, spoke what he spoke, he went to another um, place too. I'm trying to think of the name. Of the show, he went to some um some issues on uh, show, and the ish tried to um, corner him a few times, especially about um him calling himself um you know the real Israelite, and um he answered in a in a way to where you know that information came. From it's either somebody in his team uh, paying attention to the men of the Lord or the people, like I said, the people who this man and signed uh, contracts to probably, you know, made this man say whatever it is. Who knows? Right. But all we know is like like we just read in Proverbs 16 and 1, the preparations in the heart of man and the answer of the tongue from the Lord. Right. So the most high put that in him to say what he said. Right. And. Based off of the backlash that he received from what he said, it proves what he said. All right? That man said that the issues basically run all forms of media, um, music, movies, um, uh, economies, economic systems, and literally... After that man said that, <laughs> these devils start showing their horns. And basically everything that he was speaking of, they start to take away everything. All right, so let the video play and I'll be back. Just days ago, Kanye West challenged Adidas to drop him following a week-long barrage of anti-Semitic remarks made on social media and in national media appearances. The thing about it being Adidas is like, I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? But Adidas finally broke its silence and ended the relationship. That move will cost them big, but Ye even more, immediately knocking him out of the billionaire ranks. Ye, who had worked with Adidas since 2013 on his Yeezy line of super expensive, super popular sneakers, thought he was untouchable. 
Adidas gets an estimated 4 to 8% of its sales from Yeezy products, according to investment bank Cohen. For Ye, it was an even bigger deal, accounting for $1.5 billion of his net worth. But Ye's worth put the German athletic wear company with its own Nazi ties dating back to its founders in the hot seat. What followed was an even more escalating pressure on Adidas to sever ties with Ye, as his string of anti-Semitic remarks drew condemnation from the top tiers of Hollywood. For weeks, Adidas stayed silent, except to say on October 6 that their partnership with Ye was under review. The pressure mounted on Adidas after an image was released over the weekend of a banner draped over a Los Angeles highway overpass reading, Kanye was right about the Jews, accompanied by a group of white supremacists giving the Nazi salute to the drivers below. The white supremacists were apparently referring to Ye's DEFCON 3 on Jewish people tweet that got his Twitter account locked. Other anti-Semitic remarks got him blocked on Instagram. And I really want to pause right though. So, this man just said that the white supremacists put up. Rep well, let me go back and make sure. Thousands of social. The white supremacists were apparently referring to Ye's way overpass, reading. Okay. So they say Revelation three nine and John eight forty four. So let me see what this what John eight forty four says. John chapter eight and verse forty four says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him when he speaketh the lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So, what that got to do with the tweet that he made speaking on going Def Con 3? You see how the devil tried to twist words and twist me? No, 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 no. Revelation 3 9 and John 8 4 to 4. Right? The connection to that is imposters. They are not children of the Most High. They are of the synagogue of Hashitan. Right? But instead of, because I'm almost certain this dude didn't pick up, you see what I just did when I saw those scriptures and I went to the scripture and read what it said? Sure, but he didn't do that. He just saw so-called white man doing a little Nazi symbol, so it must mean that he, that Kanye, Meant that he wanted to destroy it. No, 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 no. No. See how the devil operate, though. So, John A. Ford, folk, man, look. That's why I said, man. The preparations in the heart of man and the ounce of, tongue, of the tongue are from the Lord. And it, and the most high put that in that man's mouth to speak it. And after he spoke that, they started showing themselves. <laughs> it's crazy. Kanye was right about the Jews, accompanied by a group of white supremacists giving the Nazi salute to the drivers below. The white supremacists were apparently referring to Ye's DEFCON 3 on Jewish people tweet that got his Twitter account locked. Other anti-Semitic remarks got him blocked on Instagram, and thousands of social media users called on Adidas to drop Ye. The company declared in a press release, After a thorough review, the company has taken the decision to terminate the partnership with Ye immediately, and production of Yeezy branded products and stop all payments to Ye and his companies. Adidas will stop the Adidas Yeezy business with immediate effect. With that gone, Ye is no longer a billionaire. Without Adidas, he is worth $400 million. It caps a stunning self-induced downfall for one of the brashest and most volatile personalities to have graced Forbes' pages. Ye did not respond to Forbes' request for comment. The $1.5 billion value of the Adidas deal was calculated off of multiple annual earnings. Based on interviews with industry experts, Forbes had viewed the royalties Ye received from Adidas to be similar to royalties from music catalogs or film residuals. The Adidas income stream could be sold off, those experts said, just like dozens of musicians, including the likes of Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen, who have sold off their life's work over the past two years. The remainder of Ye's fortune, Forbes estimates, comes from real estate, cash, his music catalog, and a 5% stake in ex-wife Kim Kardashian's shapewear firm, Skims. Although a source close to Skims told Forbes that Ye hasn't been involved with the brand since its 2019 launch, losing Adidas was the final nail in Ye's net worth coffin. Gap terminated its Yeezy partnership in September. Earlier this month, J.P. Morgan reportedly unbanked him. 
French fashion house Balenciaga nixed their relationship with him on October 21st, just weeks after he walked their runway at Paris Fashion Week. Just yesterday, production company MRC said it would not air a completed documentary on Ye. And talent agency CAA, where Ye was signed, dumped him. The two had been in partnership since 2013, when news of their Yeezy collaboration was announced. In the decades since, Ye has ridden wave after wave of conflict with Taylor Swift. All right, so never mind the rest of that, man. As you saw, all those different companies that just let their man go. Now, all of these different companies, I'm just like, take a guess who, who run these things. Who's in charge? Job 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Malachi 1 and 4 says that basically Esau, Edom is the wicked. Who is the top tribe or peoples of Edom? That's Amalek, the people who the Most High promised to have war with from generation to generation. Right? The synagogue of Hashitan. Right? So, let me go into these scriptures, man. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. All right? Because like I said, man, the most high, the most high uh, had that man speak what he spoke. I ain't saying... um. No, we all should go follow Kanye and everything that he says is nah, I ain't saying that at all. What I'm saying is at that moment, when that dude spoke what he spoke over the airwaves and that thing went around the world, that was Yahweh put putting that in his mouth, putting that thought in his head to speak what he was speaking for a reason. Cause think about it like this. I don't know how many people, you know, uh, actually listen to me speak or any other brother that, you know, presents the truth to the world. But it ain't as many as listen to a Kanye West album or that's waiting to hear what he has to say about whatever. The same as a Kendrick Lamar. The same as a Nick Cannon. It's a reason why the Most High put these thoughts and these words in these individuals' mouths. And so that they can reach certain people. Right? And like I said, I ain't saying that these dudes are righteous. According to the word, hey, y'all lacking. But at the end of the day, the Most High uses men right, to, to, to handle his business. Right? But like I said, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and um, verse 23. It says, O Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. All right? So the most high put it in that man's mind. Let me go do this interview. All right? Matter of fact, let me, go, let me go do these few interviews and let me speak my mind. That man ain't pull out no notebook and say, well, this is what I, this point A, point B. No, that man straight start talking. And when he start talking, hey, so-called blacks, y'all the real ones. Them folk over there, they imposters. They run everything. Go look into it if you think I'm lying. Sure enough, as soon as that man said what he said, <laughs> they start showing themselves. Well, if we're going to take away Balenciaga, we're going to take away his, uh, uh, the CCA, whatever the hell they were, the, the um, talent company or whatever, All right? We're going to, Adidas, we're going to move away from him. Now, Adidas is, is um, that's, if you look at the origin of Adidas, it comes from a Nazi man named, put together, his nickname and his, his, his a portion of his last name put together is Adidas. All right, but who uh, owned that J.P. Morgan, the, the finances? Who's connected to the Adidas? What what makes Adidas Adidas? It's the money. It's popularity to, to be able to pay this man one point whatever billion dollars to sign a contract with him 
All of this is ran by these small hats, man. Do your own research. Look up whatever company you feel like looking up and see who's in charge of said company. When I say in charge, I'm talking about the top tops. I ain't talking about like you in the executive office and or you a manager or nothing. I'm talking about the top top, like who owns these places. And you'll be surprised. Right? Let me tell you who owns these places. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Those are the individuals that run it all. Those are the individuals that run your um, record companies that make sure that the music that comes into your neighborhoods is extremely violent and degrading. Those are the individuals that show you the movies to back up the music that you watch that tells you how to be. These are the individuals that put these different clothes and uh, fund the different cars and mansions and things that you see on TV to make our youth want to emulate. These are the individuals that have such powerful su suggestions that they can move countries to do A, B, C, or D. Right? Whatever it is, they will. These are the individuals who loan funds out to said countries. Right? Look this information up, man. It's out there for the free. The thing of it is, these devils never expected the most highest people to be able to do this. To want to do this, to have a need to do this, but it's written in the word. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, and um, let me see. Verse seven it says, "For the mystery of iniquity doth already work; only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked salak, and then shall that wicked be revealed." Whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Right? With all power and signs and lying wonders. Straight like that. It's written in the word. Right? And it's funny how, I'm going to say this again. I said the last video, I'm going to say it now. Funny how ain't nobody bringing up. None of the uh, pictures in the Russian icon that shows the paintings of the people in the book before the Renaissance. Funny how ain't nobody speaking on the, 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 the truth of the Dark Ages where you had so-called blacks as nobles and kings. Ain't nobody bringing none of that up. We just supposed to take these people word for, for it. And we're supposed to get mad because they're mad and they went through such and such. And, you know, it is. Nah, nah. It don't work like that. It's a whole new day, right? Your media does not control our minds. The Most High blessed us with the spirit to be able to understand and to think and to read and to research so that we can know what truth is and what lies are, right? And like they brought out in John 8, 44. <laughs> That's a mess. Matter of fact, let me go there again. That was awesome. All right, so this is the book of John chapter 8. In verse 44, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. All right. These devils, man, devil meaning deceiver. All right. False accuser. All right. Devils, man. All right, so at the end of the day, man, hey, the Most High exposing these devils more and more, and, and they are gonna get exposed all the way when you how about you how Shai, um, you know, makes his return and burns Babylon to the ground. And this place becomes a desert, and so forth and so on. All right, so with that, hey, you how about you how Shai out these precepts in this video were were, uh, were edifying. So like, call Haloyim, you how about you how Shai, Bahashim, Harakakudash, Shalom, Yashalom.